from Tennessee. Thank you, Mr. President. This week, we are taking a big step forward in the fight to end online child exploitation. The Bipartisan Report Act, which you and I led, has been signed into law. And now, law enforcement and the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, or NICMIC as we call it, will have the resources that they need to better protect vulnerable children and track down these predators and pedophiles. This legislation has been urgently needed, and Mr. President, I thank you for your leadership on this issue. Here is a frightening statistic. In America, a child is bought or sold for sexual exploitation once every two minutes. In this country, in 2024, a child is bought or sold for sex once every two minutes. This abuse increasingly happens in the virtual space where predators distribute child sexual abuse material. They recruit minors into sex trafficking rings, and they extort children into sharing explicit images of themselves. Just last year, Nick Mick received 36.2 million reports of online child sexual exploitation a 23% increase over 2021. Nick Mick, whose cyber tip line serves as our country's centralized reporting system for online child abuse, does incredible work to track down these crimes and report them to law enforcement. But tragically, so many more acts of online sexual abuse against children are going unreported. Although criminal law requires electronic service providers to report any child sex abuse material on their sites, online platforms, including big tech sites such as Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, have no obligation to report content involving the sex trafficking or grooming of children or enticement crimes. Most online platforms choose not to report this abhorrent material to law enforcement. And even when they do report the content, electronic service providers often omit necessary information to identify victims and track down their abusers. We've also heard from victims, their families, and law enforcement about the need to modernize laws around reporting online sexual abuse. For example, children and their parents risk legal liability for transferring evidence of online sexual abuse that they have experienced when submitting reports to the NCMEC cyber tip line. The Report Act addresses these issues and more to ensure that they are defending children against some of the most heinous crimes imaginable. Now, electronic service providers will be legally required to report child trafficking and enticement. To ensure compliance with the law, the Report Act raises the fine for first violations from 150,000 up to as much as 850,000 and subsequent violations, that fee is raised from 300,000 up to $1 million. At the same time, the legislation enables victims to report evidence of online exploitation to the authorities and allows for the secure cloud storage and safe transfer of reports from NCMEC to law enforcement. It also increases the retention period for cyber tip line reports from 90 days to one full year, meaning law enforcement will have more time to track down and prosecute these criminals. Altogether, 
These measures will do so much to protect the most vulnerable among us from online exploitation and help to put an end to this horrific abuse. Mr. President, I ask unanimous consent that the next portion of my remarks be placed separately in the record. Without objection.